Hello and welcome to my happy Zen place. Today I just thought I would turn the camera on. I'm doing some stamping uh, samples for my stamp storage. I just finished this one and I said, well, um, why don't I just turn the camera on and just have a craft with me, stamp play. Um, I use the hashtag stamp play I don't know who the creator is of that so if anyone knows out there let me know um, uh, Carol with free spirit arts mentioned it and I seen um, Tammy um, Van Antwerp use it as well she's been using it so I'll play along so this one here I just stamped and I used the new um, Stampin' Pad uh, Early Espresso from Stampin' Up. I love it and I'll probably use this color for all of my uh, samples for my stamp storage because I like to keep everything um, like kind of neutral. Um, that way I can kind of see what it looks like and it's fabulous. I love this stamp set. This is uh, TPC Studio Morning Glory. Um, yeah, love it. I love it. <clears throat> and it just barely fits in this uh, large size envelope. So I did that one, and that's what I do. I put the, I put plastic. I have a whole box of these. I got clear um, sheets, protector sheets at the thrift store and there was like a hundred in there. It really didn't look like any was taken out. So I'm cutting these up and using my uh, cheap double stick tape from the dollar store to attach it to poster board. I use a post poster board for the back side just because it gives it some stability. This is just um, the 110 white card stock from Walmart um, <clears throat> for my, my front. I may cut a piece of vellum to put on top of here to protect, but um, I, I'm not sure that that's necessary. So that's how I did that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to stamp some stuff out. and. I just wanted to come on and um, give a um, hugs and healing vibe to um, my friend Rhoda. Um, her dad passed away this week, and um, yeah, that's really sad. Um, so I did post um, in my commu community um, board her channel so that we could go over and watch some of her videos so that she could keep her channel going while she's taking time um to be with her family so yeah so yep hugs rhoda love ya so this will be my next one that i'm gonna do this one is this one's American Crafts. It's a Maggie Holmes. Um, I don't know the name of it. And I had the original packaging, which was great. So I just double sticked the original packaging down to the poster board. And then I kept this for protection on top. So I may do that with all of them. I don't know. So, And I'm using the stamping platform for um to do this it's it's easier for me and i have this sticky grid um paper you can get it by sizzix it's called sticky grid uh let me see if i can find it
I'm not seeing it real quick, but I have quite a few videos on this. Um, I'll try to put a link for my video that I shared this. How to use it, how to put it down, what it's all about. But I love it. I don't have to use my magnets. Every once in a while you get a stamp set. And I know this has happened where they're very sticky where they won't stay down you stamp them once with this and they want to lift off those i have to use my magnets so this is getting kind of tacky i might just flip it over and use the other side i'm just going to lay it up against here this is the release paper that was on it i just keep it and keep it on there when I'm not using it so that dust or you know whatever doesn't get on there and ruin it so I'm just going to use this and I usually just pick a line doesn't matter I'm just going to lay my stamps out where they fit because this fits in my, um, my envelope that I lost already is that it? no Hmm, maybe I didn't have an envelope. Oh, I did. I've like got one here. Anywho. Alright. Well, that's so bizarre. Alright, so. Okay, I don't see it. I'm just going to put my little cloth this is just a microfiber uh, under here so that I don't slam this down because I know that makes a lot of noise so this is what I do I just stamp everything out so that at a glance I can see what things look like what size because on here even though it has an example I still like to see it stamped out see the detail so cute I love this couple flowers okay everything fits on there pretty good I'm just going to do the one color I'm going to do this color here for everything so it's all uniform all right I'm on clear I'm still getting used to opening these. It's getting better and better. I do have arthritis and I have uh, two fingers here with no cartilage, so they're just kind of there. And these ink pads are really juicy. I'm just dabbing. I'll dab it, test it out. See what I get and I'm gonna using this I'll try to I got this from uh, scrapbook.com I'll try to put the link in the description I've had some questions of where I got it it's perfect for me because I can grip like this but this pushing like this really really bothers me so this is perfect Let's see what we get ooh the tree didn't do so well. It's because I had it backwards. <laughs> I've done that. I have done that many, many times. So I need a new, a new one. All right. So this is a sample sheet. I'm take that off. Might put some tape on there. You don't have to, but. Just till it gets stuck down. Because this one end, there's no sticky under there so that you can pull it up. So I'm just going to put that down so it stays down. And just a little extra insurance because it is, I just flipped it over so it's real tacky. The tackiness will wear down. I can't believe I did that. Oh well. 
All right, so I have a new one. These are all pre-cut. I'll probably have to trim it down a little bit, but um, well, <clears throat> this is just a uh, stamp cleaner I got at Hobby Lobby. It's Momenta. You just, it's like a piece of cardboard when it's dry, and then you wet it. So I'm going to have to clean up here and start over. So that, <laughs> I was like, what? That tree looks horrid. Oh well. So I got the Claritin out of my system finally. I feel a lot better. I'm just, uh, just can't take any of that stuff. I've tried them all. My doctor's put me on a lot of stuff, but I'm doing, um, chai tea and local honey. So that's what she suggested. She didn't suggest the chai tea, but she said local honey and tea. I love the chai tea. It's got clover in it, which is really good. All right. Make sure I get these the right direction this time. I'm probably going to be a hot mess, but That was too funny. Okay, I'm going to try to leave a little room around the outside because I know I'll have to trim this up to fit in my envelope because uh, it's just a rough cut. All right, let me try this again. I think everything else uh, stamped pretty good. Yeah, except for the tree. If I didn't have the tree upside down, I'd be okay. Okay. And I'm only dabbing because it is juicy. You don't need a lot. I can go with the platform. I can go back in and touch up. And I've got this. Um, um, this is a. Um, uh, what do you call it? A little mouse pad. And I like to put that down when I'm doing that. So that um, my um, ink pad doesn't slam down on the, the desk because it does make a loud noise. All right, let's try this again. This is a great way to, I love stamping out to see exactly what your stamps look like. Like right there, I need a little bit more pressure right there. Um, okay, my bird. And when you have them all close together like that too, sometimes some are um, thicker than others. So if you get one that's stamped really good, you can take it off and do the rest. So I think I need uh, my tree a little bit. This one, this one's lower than the others, so I might get this tree really good and take it off because it's pretty chunky. So I hope everybody's having a good week. It's been hot. Yeah, my tree's good, so I'm going to take my tree off. Um, I'm just going to do a, I got some scrap paper. I'm going to try to do a stamp off here. Um, it's probably not going to be pretty, but it'll save from a lot of ink getting on my pad. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. take my tree off and then I think my bird is kind of good I'm gonna go ahead and try to get his beak okay he's good now and it's 
see what I get here. Pretty good. <clears throat> the little stamp buffs are kind of cute to, to use for backgrounds. Okay. My bird's good. Mm, let's see my butterfly. I think my butter. Oh, I didn't get the antennas. That's what I was. There we go. I think everything else is good except for this here, but I'm going to get that butterfly off. Yep, I like the muted. Okay. Um, let me try to get this, um, the leaves. That's good. I think everything else is good. Good. I'm just going to wipe these off, and I'm pretty happy with that. That's a cool um, heart, too, with the, um, the lines in it. Let's put this back on. So this will come off. Whoops, I didn't even get that secured today. I'm going to flip this back over because it's still pretty tacky. Just so I don't waste a lot of time. So you get a lot of use out of this for sure. You don't have to tape it, but I'm taping it because I can. Okay, so there's my example. Uh, I'm going to close this because i got to trim it up a little bit. To fit in my envelope. In my envelope. These are new envelopes. Um, I usually get them scrapbook.com. I found somebody on Etsy that had them. Um, over the weekend and she had them here yesterday really quickly so I'm pretty happy but she only had one bag of them in there these right here the large there's 50 so I was close on how many I needed so this should get me pretty good but as soon as um, scrapbook.com gets theirs back in they will uh, message me on my phone because I use these envelopes for my stamps as well or my dies so I see I gotta cut that a little bit that's my protector sheet so I'm just gonna give it a quick trim so it fits in there And it's a little distorted, but it'll straighten out after it's in the envelope for a little bit. I'm just going to trim a little bit off the bottom. That should be good. So this will go on here. That's my example. So when I flip through, 
and I'm not sure which binder this will go in a binder. Um, I have envelopes, and these fit in those black binders that I showed. Um, we have to trim that a little bit more. Yeah, that back one needs to be trimmed. I'm not sure what binder this will go in because I've got um, bird butterfly. It might be a combo thing, so so that'll go in there. And it's got the information on the back, and then I'll go in one of these pockets. I can get two in a pocket, front and back. And then it'll go in my binder. So I love that. I can flip through and see. And I can see exactly what size it is. This, I know this system does not work out for everybody. Um, I've had some messages that it's it's very cuckoo and um, over the top, um, exhausting, uh, you name it. But this works for me. I love it. Um, I do... Well, I used to do a lot of stamping for my Etsy, special orders and stuff like that. So when you have to find something, you got to dig and dig and you don't know where it is. But if everything is in a binder by category, boom, you go right to it. Okay, so that one's done. This one here, this one should be an easy one. Let's see what time. Okay, I'll go for a little bit. And then I'll just continue on off camera. So I've got all, these all prepared. This is American Crafts Hip Stamp Hooray Noted Stamp Set. So I had the original packaging, which was great. A lot of these I got when Tuesday morning was uh, still open, which was great because they were a really good price. And I love the designs they had. This one is just three stamps and it's got like writing with a rose that goes like that I think I'm trying to think which is right side up okay hopefully I like that okay so I'm just gonna stamp those out and see what I get Some of them lose their stickiness. I think I'm good. All right. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable opening this, so this takes a little getting used to, but it's really nice to hang on to. It's got these little divots in here, which is great. I just have to be mindful not to mash it because it is juicy. All right, let me see what I get. I feel like the rose is upside down, but that's okay. And the rose is higher than than this one, so I'll get that stamped out and then take it off doesn't want to stamp right there and why it won't stamp. I might have to stand up and
Hmm. Um, this might be the one that got damaged where I had to peel it. I'm seeing some abnormality right there where it won't stamp because I had some that had, had adhered to the plastic containers. I had them all in here and they were stuck to the back of here and they were um, in a plastic bin in the sun so that wasn't a good situation from for them because I'm, I'm in a sunroom so that constant heat I think is what did it <clears throat> Like my, these, the Stampin' Up, I will keep these in their original cases. These are fine. These are totally fine. But that one, I don't know why that, yeah, I think it's, um, there's something wrong right there where I had to peel it off the case. So I'm going to be good with it and not be picky. Okay. I'm going to take it off so I can get that other one to stamp because this one is thicker than that one. I did have it upside down. All right, let's see if I can get this one to stamp. Hmm. Weird. This is just a background. Oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't have enough ink on it. And I'm thinking I have another problem right there. Yeah, see where I, it got peeled off the plastic. All right, I'm just going to try to clean this up a little bit. See if I can get this one to. This is what. Oh, it's it's fine now. It's just the different heights of the stamps. The only one I couldn't get was that one, and it's upside down. But I'm okay with that. So I'm just gonna. Sorry if you couldn't see. Um, These are just scraps of paper. These would be good for collage. Okay, I'm happy with that. Good with that. All right. Um, this one is a darkroom door collage stamp. I had the packaging for this. This came in a bundle at a yard sale, and it came with this one. I don't know if this is some um, darkroom door or not. They were together. It kind of looks like it might be. I looked online, I couldn't find anything. Nothing. 
so I'm not putting them together because this only shows this so I'm going to do them separate and I'll continue to investigate that to see I don't even know what stamp it is but I'm, I'm thinking it's dark room door so this is a thicker stamp I'll have to switch this around to rubber where it says rubber right here I think this one is poppies. Pretty poppies. Let's see what we get. Don't think I've ever used, I may have used this stamp. gorgeous hmm seeing a little bit right here that didn't stamp off I'm just gonna do a hit right there and maybe put some pressure yes gorgeous you can kind of see where there's still ink there's no ink now love that I'm thinking I need a bigger piece of paper. I just want to see what I get. That's cool. I like that too. The stamp off. It's beautiful. Okay. All right. There's that one. Okay, that one's good to go. Even though it has the picture on the front, I still like to stamp it. That way I can kind of see the details. I think it's gorgeous. So there's some um, pretty poppies. Yummy. DDCS019. I'll try to uh, watch my video back and see what stamps I shared. That way I can put the numbers in for you if I have them. So that one's done. Love it. All right, I'm going to stamp this off and see what it looks like. Take it. Okay, it goes like this. I don't even know if this is sticky. Yeah, see, it's one of those that's kind of sketchy. I don't think it's going to stay. Hmm. So, I really don't want to put anything on there. Let me just see if this peels off. Yeah, it does, but... Um, okay, in this kind of situation, you can use this cheap Dollar Tree um, double stick, but do not leave it on. Take it off right away. I'm going to put it in each corner just so I can stamp it real quick and take it off. I like the Dollar Tree because it's very forgiving. You can 
um, take it back later on. Okay. Do this real quick and get that tape off of there. That'll stay. Oops, I got a little messy. That's gorgeous. Okay, I do like that one. All right, where's my other piece of paper? I'm just gonna leave it as that right there. You probably could take a brayer and go over this. Um, I'm not sure where mine is right now, but this is pretty good. It'd be cool for background. See, I got a little messy right there, so that's okay. Um, let me get another. So this stamp would be really cool to stamp out on um, coffee dyed paper for sure. And just give it a dry. I just want to get that tape off there real quick. This is what I like about the Dollar Tree double stick. Okay, I got it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Get rid of that. Okay, pretty happy with that one's great. I don't know who makes this, but I'm guessing it's probably Dark Room Door. Um, and I don't know. If anybody knows they have this stamp, let me know. That way I can label it. So is that one. That one's really cool. This would be cool on some uh, tea dyed or coffee dyed paper. For real. Okay. This one here is the Stampin' Up! And it wasn't a case, but... Because they are clear stamps, I'm going to put them in the envelope because it does save a lot of room. And I can already see what they look like, but I really want to see what they stamp out as. So I saved the plastic because they're kind of sticky. Um, I'm going to switch this to clear. And then... Um, I ended up putting that strip there. I wish I hadn't. I think I'm going to stamp on the back side of this. And it wasn't very thought out, that's for sure. They're very sticky. I was kind of worried. This one here I got at a, at a yard sale. It was a, a Stampin' Up! d -stash. And I just cut the plastic and um, double stick them down that came with it. So I'm going to try to stamp on the back side of this. Okay. This has got some ink on it. I don't know if that's going to come off. I, I haven't used this set yet. 
No, I think it's permanent, but that's okay. These are very sticky, and I'm worried that they're going to lift off. So I might put a couple magnets. This is one of those cases where you need the magnet. I just want to get them all in there. Yeah, they're very, very sticky. Um, I want to have room for my magnets. Okay. Wished I hadn't put that strip on there, but. Okay. Got that magnet there. Keep it within my. Okay, I'm good there. That one. Okay, just for extra security to make sure. Because once these are stuck, See, they want to lift the this paper. So I might put a piece of tape too. This is one of those instants where you just need extra protection because they're very sticky. So this is kind of what to do. I think I'm too close there. Up there, yeah. Put you over there. I think I'm good there. All right, I'm gonna go for it. I may have to remove one by one um, because of the height. I see this one is um, thicker than some of the other ones, so we'll see. I'll do this one first. Ooh, wow! I love stamps that have a lot of detail. And I don't know if this one has a die set to go with it. I'll have to look it up. It would be cool. Ooh, that's pretty. Need to put a little more pressure right there. Oh, see, it wants to lift my paper. Oh, that's beautiful. So let me get this leaf and then I'll take it off. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <clears throat> I'm going to use my fingers. I think it's easier and quicker. That's cool. really stuck. Okay. Um, let me do this little one here. I'll just work up the line. I might try to do the rest of them because without the ink, they really want to stick and lift. So let me get some ink on them because I don't think they've ever been used. Only this one here. <clears throat> Gonna go, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful set. This is vintage leaves. Wow, love it. Okay, that one right there, it's got ink, but it's just not connecting. And it could be the height difference. Okay, I'm going to take these two off are good. I'm going to take those off. There's probably people saying she is totally nuts. Lost her mind. But Got it. Okay. 
Okay, I think this one's good too. Yeah, that one's good too. Okay. Just going to whoops, hit these two real quick. I think it's good. I think it's really good. Okay. Beautiful. Gee whiz. Talk about not wasting any ink. Okay. I'll clean these up and I probably should end the video here so I have enough time to upload today. I got a shelf here that I put my magnets on. Okay, let's get this off. Oh, I know. Another thing, too, I've got like bulk behind these, too, these things. So that probably was hindering me a little bit. Love that. That turned out fabulous. All right, so let me put my stamps back. So if you've got the original packaging, it's great because you can get creative on um, using it for your own. I'm missing one. There it is. All right, there's that. That's what it looks like, it's gorgeous. Vintage leaves and it's 138802. I'll have to uh, re-watch the video so that I can, um, I'm gonna save this original because these are really tacky. Um, put the numbers in for you. I like that set. That's really nice. So I have quite a few more. Um, this one here is real cute. I don't think I have time. Maybe I have time. I really want to see how this is Stampendous and it has a coordinating uh, bird die. I've looked high and low and I cannot find it. I've got the number for it. <clears throat> Somebody was uh, gracious enough to put the number out there but I can't find the die so I can stamp these birds and cut them out. It did come with a stencil. Um, I got this at a yard sale. Um, yeah, she didn't have the die. I didn't even know it had a die until I came home and it says look for coordinating cutting die. Um, yeah, so I'll continue to look. Alright, let me try Try to get through this real quick. <clears throat> but because it has, I don't know if it has this too or what. That would be great. How cute. Oh my goodness. Too much. 
Okay, I'll spread them out. He's on a branch. That there. Flowers. I got another bird. Wow. This is going to barely just fit. How cute are these? I love these little dudes. Okay. They're all talking to each other. I'm hoping they're going to stay. Yep, yep. They're very thick. Oh my goodness. How cute. They are just too cute. All right. Um, I don't think I really need more ink. I'm just going to, I just need to put pressure in certain spots. Like right there. Right there. I think I'm good. Oh wow. I love these. I I want the die I want the die to be able to cut the birds out. Alright, that's my share for today. I'll clean up off camera. Got myself all messy. Um I'll try to stamp stamp off that. This is a cute stamp set. Look at that. Aren't they adorable? You could color them in. I'm not very good at coloring, but I want to learn. Wow. Love it. Okay. All right. I'm going to upload this video. Hope this was something that was interesting and you got some some tips or do's and don'ts <laughs> that could be too all right take care everyone big hugs to uh, Rhoda Burks all right bye